Praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For truly this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm blessed, God, that you tuned into the Hewitt channel. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. Our ministry is MCN Ministry, Bible Way LA. We're located in Los Angeles, California. And please visit our website at www.brianhewitt.com. If you want to seed into this fertile ministry, please click on the donation button. And if you, we also have a prayer line. Please click on, please click on your prayer request. Because the effectual firm and prayer of the righteous man availeth much. And it will truly be a blessing. Because we all need prayer. Glory to God. None of us are exempt from prayer. But God, because the word of God says, pray ye always. Pray without ceasing. Meaning that we must pray all the time. Let's go before the throne. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, we just love you. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you woke us up this morning, whatever time zone you're in. Father God, if it's our morning, afternoon, or night, Father God, you are faithful, Father God. And Lord Jesus, I just thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, for your faithfulness. I thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives and what you're going to do in our lives. Father God, I thank you that our children children are covered up under the blood of Jesus. Father God, for truly that there is no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us shall be judged, for this is a heritage we have in Christ Jesus. And Father God, we just thank you and praise you. We thank you for every blessing you have for us this day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for you just moving. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for moving obstacles out of our ways, Father God. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for doors being open that no man could close, closing doors that no man could open. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for being Jehovah Jireh. You're the God that provides, Father God. Lord Jesus, we speak provisions, Father God, from the north to the south, to the east to the west, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for jobs, Father God. Lord Jesus, you are our master physician, Father God. We stand on you, Father God, and we know that you can do anything but fail. And Father God, we decree jobs, Father God, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we're walking in divine health. Every organ, every tissue in our body is functioning in the perfection which you created to function. We will continue on giving you praise, giving you glory, for there is none like you. And Lord Jesus, we just love you. We know you as Jehovah Rapha. Father God, we send healing to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. No matter what it looks like, Father God, we know that you're able. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you and we praise you for every blessing you have for us this day in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you, saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We need to spend time with the Father and just say, God, I don't want anything. I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There comes a time where we just want to be grateful. Father God, I'm grateful. I have an attitude of gratitude. I'm grateful for everything you've done, everything you're going to do in our lives. Father God, for what you've done, how you covered my children how you covered my grandchildren, Father God, how you covered my family and friends. And for that, Father God, I just want to say thank you. Glory to God. So we give God the praise and glory for every blessing that he has for us. I want you to dive, we're going to dive into the word today. So please get your Bible or get a pen and a piece of paper. We're going to 2 Corinthians 4. We're going to read verse 7 through 18. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 through 18. And we're talking about walking this faith walk. Walking this faith walk. We live by faith. We, we, we cannot see faith, but yet we believe it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we got to walk this walk. We cannot talk it to. It's time out for talking it without walking it. So we got to walk this faith walk. Hallelujah. If you say, I trust you, God, for you to heal me, and you have this t-shirt, 
in the butt and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed? Then why are you stressing when your bills come? Why are you stressing when when um, when um uh, your body want to go contrary to the word of God? Hallelujah. Either believe it or you don't. Hallelujah. We must walk by faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So because we have faith, we're going to walk this walk. We're going to live and walk this walk of faith. Glory to God. Start at verse 7. But we have this treasure, treasure in earthen vessel that the exceedingly, the excellency of the power may be of God, not of ourselves. Let's read that again. We have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God, not of ourselves. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Mm -mm -mm. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also in Jesus might be made manifested in our bodies. For we, which are which live are always delivered unto death of Jesus sake that the life also of Jesus might be made manifested in our mortal flesh so then death worketh in us but life in you glory to god mm -mm -mm. we have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe, and therefore I, sp I spoke it. Mm -mm -mm. We also believe, therefore speak. Hallelujah. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Glory to God. For all things are for your sake, that the abundance grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound in the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. Glory to God. While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are seen are, are subject, but the things which are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen, they are eternal. Glory to God. For we look not for the things which are seen, but the things which are seen, they are subject to change. Mm -mm -mm. But the things we cannot see, they are eternal. Glory to God. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading, to the hearing of God's holy word. We're talking about walking this walk of faith. My God, can you walk this walk of faith today? Glory to God. I want you to ask yourself as we study, as we dive into the word, are we walking this walk? Let's break down the word. What I love about this in verse 7, he says, but we have this earthen, we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the ex that the excellency of power may be of God, not ourselves. God loved you so much that he filled that he filled you with his spirit. Glory to God. We are Holy Ghost filled. We have the greater one that lives in and has our being in us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God loved you so much. He's not going to let you not have his spirit because the Bible says the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is going to raise up our mortal bodies on that great and wonderful day. 
the Bible clearly says without his spirit you're not of his so therefore hallelujah I am I am desiring to be Holy Ghost filled because the Bible says greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world so God loved you so much that he gave us his spirit in this earthen vessel meaning that when we when when we take our last breath this earth suit is going back to the dust of where it came from but yet God thought so much and he loved that God so loved that it's God so loved hallelujah glory to God he loved us with an undying love and because he loved us he didn't want us to be without power without the Holy Ghost so he gave us this treasure that money cannot buy you cannot buy the Holy Ghost there's no price that you could pay for the Holy Ghost glory to God hallelujah that the exceedingly power that the excellence power may be of God not ourselves it's not about evangelist Anita it's not about my husband pastor Brian it's all about God hallelujah glory to God now that we have his spirit hallelujah Paul is talking to the Corinth church letting you know hallelujah now that you have the Holy Ghost now that you cause glory to God what I love about Paul Paul is talking to the saints of the most high God he's talking to the church glory to God so he's letting them know he says that now you're going to be troubled on every side but yet not distressed meaning that you're going to go through some things James says kind of all joy when I go through diverse temptation it's nothing but a working of my faith what am I am I joyful that I'm going through this no but it's something about when you go through glory to God it's something about when you go through hallelujah you end up falling on your face you end up calling on the name of Jesus and God brings you through every situation hallelujah and your faith rise glory to God hallelujah so for that we give God the praise and glory so you're going to go through but on every side hallelujah but yet you're not distressed you're preplex but not in despair preplex means sometimes I just don't know what to do God says when you don't know what to do and you've done all that you know to do stand ye therefore and know that he is God hallelujah God says acknowledge me in all thy ways and he shall direct our path so therefore we are not without help God says call upon me and I will answer hallelujah glory to God you're going to be persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed hallelujah you're going to be talked about saints of the most high God why because we're walking in God's footsteps hallelujah not everyone is going to be happy that you are serving the Lord but that's okay glory to God hallelujah because hallelujah if it's for Jesus sake it's all right I'm going to be cast down but not destroyed hallelujah you're going to lose some people because you said that I'm saved you're going to lose some people because I'm living right or you're going to lose some people saying I don't do that anymore but that's all right they're going to cast you down but yet you're not destroyed glory to God because God will send you hallelujah brothers and sisters that are walking this faith walk along with you God will send mothers and fathers hallelujah mothers grandmothers of the church hallelujah that will strengthen you and say baby it's okay keep on walking this walk don't be dismayed don't be dis don't don't be discouraged hallelujah because what we do for Christ is is going to last hallelujah I'm telling you hallelujah the life that we're living is determined where we're going to spend eternity saints of the most high God let me let you know hallelujah you're going to spend eternity you're going to live eternally somewhere you're going to live eternally in hell or in heaven there is no purgatory let me let you know that there is no middle ground that God got to put you in a waiting cell and say let me decide which way or your or your works are good no baby it's either heaven or hell but today we're making heaven our home glory to God and for that we give God the praise and glory so therefore in verse 10 always a bearing in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ that the life also of Jesus might be made manifested in our bodies glory to God hallelujah because we have this treasure this earth 
in this earthen vessel glory to God we are the light of the world the Bible says are you going to hide your light under a bushel the answer should be no glory to God because I'm going to let my light shine glory to God wherever we go we change the atmosphere I want you to know who you are in Christ Jesus glory to God hallelujah it could be in an atmosphere of a lot of confusion but when you walk in they get silent it's not you but it's the Holy Ghost that you're housed in glory to God hallelujah and because of that glory to God hallelujah that Jesus is manifested in this mortal flesh in this flesh is going to go back to the dust in this flesh we're nothing but dressed up dirt glory to God but thank God hallelujah God loves us so much that he gave his spirit hallelujah glory to God in verse 11 for we which live hallelujah also deliver unto death for Jesus sake meaning that people are going to talk about you many people are going to try to stop you try to block you some people will even try to poison you but there is no weapon that's formed against it shall prosper that the life also in Christ Jesus may be manifested in this mortal flesh glory to God I don't care what you try to do I don't care what witch from the north south east or west white witch good witch blue witch hallelujah the Bible says God said he will not suffer a witch to live they cannot curse what is blessed we are blessed so I don't care what Google deuce they want to try hallelujah glory to God that there is no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper so therefore the manifestation of Jesus is manifested in this mortal flesh glory to God and that's good news hallelujah glory to God so then die so then death worketh in us but life in you glory to God meaning that we are dying daily hallelujah we are dying to the flesh naturally hallelujah we're getting closer to heaven hallelujah but nevertheless hallelujah to live to for die, for dying for Christ is to live no for no for living for Christ is 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 uh, to live and to die is to glory to be absent from this world is to be present with the Lord so hallelujah it's a win-win situation when you in Christ Jesus but if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior now is the acceptable time for you to please get it right with God it is time for you to get it right Saints of the Most High God because that no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming and Jesus is coming back sooner than you think glory to God so we must be sitting ready we must not be getting ready we must be sitting ready and knowing that God is coming back hallelujah and like I always say we must be rapture ready glory to God and we must be because that no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming and because we don't know that glory to God that we must be sitting ready so turn with me to Romans Romans 10 glory to God hallelujah we're going to start in verse 9 Romans 10 9 through 13 that if we confess but if thou shalt confess with thy mouth believe in the Lord Jesus Christ thou shalt believe in oh Jesus let me read that again if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture says whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed hallelujah for there is no difference between Jew and Greek for the same Lord is rich over all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. Glory to God. Aren't you glad you're part of the Whosoever Club today? Aren't you glad, hallelujah, that I want to get it right today? I need to get it right, God, because, God, I love you. Because, Lord, you are the Lord of my life. And because of that, I give you the praise and glory for everything you've done in my life and what you're going to do in my life. And, Father God, for that I give you the praise. Will you please say this simple prayer after me? 
Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Pastor Brian and myself, we're praising God for you. Welcome to the body of Christ. You're taking the most important step. Now that you received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, now you ask God to lead and guide you to a Bible teaching church where God wants you to go. And also get active in the midweek Bible study. And if you gave your life to the Lord, please visit our website at www.brianhewitt.com and let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you need a Bible, please let us know that too. If you want to seed into this fertile ministry, please click on the donation button and it'll truly be a blessing. Again, we have a prayer request line and the effectual firm and prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So click on the prayer line too as well. Glory to God. Let's go back to walking this walk of faith. Glory to God. Walking this walk of faith. So, and in verse 13, we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe, and therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. Hallelujah. I'm only speaking for what I know, and what I know is the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The same spirit of faith. Hallelujah. So I'm not speaking my first. I'm not giving you what Anita thinks. I'm not saying according to Anita, the gospel according to Anita. I'm not saying what I think it is. The Bible says, hallelujah, we must study. Hallelujah, the word of God, we must rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah, so therefore there comes some time where we must spend time in the word of God and rightly divide the word of truth. Glory to God. So because of what I know, hallelujah, I am. I have spoken it. And hallelujah, because of what I believe, therefore I speak. Hallelujah, I know that I know that I know. I'm fully persuaded, hallelujah, that Jesus is Lord. I'm, I'm fully persuaded with Without his spirit, we're none of his. I'm fully persuaded. Hallelujah. We must be baptized according to Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I'm fully persuaded from Genesis to Revelation that this is the spoken word of God. Hallelujah. And because of that, I speak what I know. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not saying what I think it means. I'm giving you what thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. In verse 14, knowing that he which raised up the Lord shall also raise us up also by Jesus. Hallelujah. And shall present us to you. Hallelujah. On that great and wonderful day. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 4, 7. Hallelujah. Uh, 17 through 20. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The trumpet is going to blow. Hallelujah. The dead in Christ is going to rise. Hallelujah. Those that remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, meaning that Jesus is not going to step foot on this earth. Glory to God. We're going to be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. So we must be rapture ready. I keep on telling you that because you don't know when there may be a suddenly in your life. God may call you home right now and we must be rapture ready. We must be ready to meet the Lord. Hallelujah. When he calls. I don't want to be getting ready. I want to be sitting ready and doing the will of God. Hallelujah. For all things are for your sake that the abundance of grace might through thanksgiving of many redound of joy of of God. Hallelujah. For which cause we faint not. Hallelujah. 
glory to God, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Hallelujah. Again, this earth suit is getting closer to the ground, but nevertheless, hallelujah, my spirit man is being renewed day by day. And how we renew our spirit is only through the word of God. Hallelujah. For we are of light affliction, but it's only for a moment. Hallelujah, that worketh for us. Hallelujah, far exceedingly and ex and, ex and an eternal weight of glory. Glory to God, meaning that, hallelujah, you're going to go through, but it's only just for a minute. Minute, hallelujah. Your storms really do come to pass. Trouble don't last always. Why? Because my faith is in Christ Jesus. It's not in the circumstances. For while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, meaning that it's subject to change. Hallelujah. But the things which are not seen, they are eternal. Hallelujah. I cannot see the Lord, but I know. Hallelujah. I feel him in my spirit. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God that he gave us a precious treasure in this earth suit. Glory to God. He gave us his spirit. Hallelujah. And for that, we give God. God, the praise and glory. Glory to God. I love you with the love of the Lord. So we must walk this walk of faith. Hallelujah. It's time out for talking it and not walking it. Glory to God. We must line our lives up to the word of God because again, whatever you do for Christ is going to last. Hallelujah. And whatever we do, we're living our lives. We're living the best life we're living in Christ Jesus. And for that, we give God the praise praise and glory. Let's bless God. Let's pray out. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for a glorious word. We thank you for this rhema word. Father God, we thank you that we are walking this faith walk. Father God, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we just give you the praise. We thank God for those that rededicated their lives to the Lord. We thank God for those that dedicated their life to the Lord. Let their lives ever be changed. We thank God for everyone that tuned into the Hewitt channel. Let them be forever blessed, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Meet every need. And Father God, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory in Jesus name. Tune back in at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time where my husband, Pastor Brian, will be ministering. Hallelujah. Until then, if no one else has told you that you are loved, we love you with the love of the Lord, Anita and the man, Pastor Brian and Evangelist Anita. We love you with the love of the Lord. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.